Uh, so uh, Johnny just got 90 days and we're proud of him. Thank you. Buddy. And we just wanted to, I wanted to have a little chat with Johnny about You know just where he's at and what he's gotten from the house. And so I have a sponsor. I'm working the steps. I'm on my eighth step I have a job. I'm employable. I'm no longer stuck on crystal meth. How many places have you been to? Um, in my lifetime, I've probably been to over 20 places. This is the single best place I've ever been to But uh, like, it's the hard it's the hardest for sure <laughs> but it's the best. And I have nothing but gratitude for Pat and the family here. Us They've too, man. We're so proud to have you as an ambassador of the house. When you share in meetings, um, you make me proud. Uh, Shane, what do you think? 50 days today. Congrats, bro. We work together. We're painting. Yep. Um, have you seen a change in Rudy since she got here? Did you know Rudy before she got here? No, not really, but I mean, she's changed tremendously since. Yeah, how much time do you have? Seven months. Damn, seven months. And what have you learned or what's going on with you? And My ability to take accountability. Like I was never able to like be like, yeah, that's off, that sucks. And then actually change after it. It was always like, I'm not gonna fucking look at that. Yeah, well, we're all real proud of you and happy to have you here. What about you, Jordan? How much time you got? Um, I'll have four months and two days. And when I came in, I was crashing cars, big felony case over my head, multiple different felonies. Um, Today Jordan went to court and got some kind of bad news that he thought was good news, but and yeah. how are you going to walk through that? Um, I'm not going to trust my thinking and I'm going to completely surrender to God. I just finished my step three um, and it speaks um, in that step to just let go and completely surrender. Right and on. that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to practice that. I'm proud to have you here. and God has shown me. I didn't think he was going to make it this far. I really didn't. Um, what about you, Caleb? What's going on with your eye? How much time you got? Got 108 days today. Um, what's going on with my eyes? I have another retinal detachment. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so it's something that I'm having to walk through sober, um, which is something that I haven't done before. Um, and it's something that I'm learning to do is walk through difficult things and to be uncomfortable and to trust people who have more experience than me and more knowledge than me. Love you, bro. Thank you, man. Really, really proud of you. Caleb was the Thank first, you. second. I say first because he actually flew out here. Jordan, Jordan was actually the first person to sleep in the house, but it wasn't really even a house yet. He just slept upstairs with his daughter like after he built the bed or before he built the bed. But yeah, so Jordan was the, f or Caleb was the first person here. And, um, and Carter, how are you? How much time do you have and what's going on? I'm good, man. Um, in five or six days, I'll have 90 days. Right on, bro. Yeah, man. When's the last right time there. you had 90 days? Five years ago, maybe? Yeah, it's been, it's been a gnarly five years too. I've lost everything, gotten it back and totally lost it again so i'm at a place in my life where things are just you know needing to change i mean I, ever since i got here it's been a total transformation it's one step at a time um starts though with just the willingness to completely surrender when i came in i was fighting everything i was fighting the process i was fighting this guy right here like every day now he's like one of my best friends and uh it's amazing how you can transform your mind I, I just got bad news too yesterday and what's crazy is i didn't i didn't go nuts and like punch a hole in the wall yeah i was like you know what this is just another hurdle i'm being tested and uh i'm army. gonna get through this he, like, he said i have an army, I have behind, an army me. behind me because we're writing him a letter you know yeah. to the court and we're gonna try to see if the judge will give him a break on his four DUIs. Yeah. Um, what do you think, Jordan? Um, I think that it's not easy to get sober, but when you do it right, you have a family of people around you. Um, you're gonna be challenged. It's not supposed to be easy. You're gonna go through trials and tribulations and that's all based off the wreckage of your past. Um, but I think at the end of the day is, is the juice worth the squeeze? And uh, that's what we're here to do. We're supposed to squeeze, you know what I mean? And um, the final product is somebody with integrity, um, somebody 
with hope, somebody who has a story, somebody knows that how, knows how to carry a message, and somebody that can be an active family member in everybody's lives. And it's crazy to see people start from day one and not know how to live life to become somebody as equipped to deal with life on life's terms as the people in our house. Yeah, I'm really like grateful that God brought Woody into my life and I feel like we're, we've been like dealing with a lot, you know? <clears throat> but yeah, man, like it's been like a really uh, interesting road. Um, being, being misunderstood from a lot of different, um, very motivated Karens all over the world, and probably just people who have um, had trauma surrounding people in, 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 you know, with, you know, just untreated alcoholics and, and addicts who, who have the wrong idea of what it is that we're trying to do, and it's, it's been really hard. Um, sometimes I feel like, you know, the black sheep, like we're like the black sheep but I hope that time will prove different. And yeah, I'm just stoked to have you. And uh, Woody got me, uh, I'm gonna speak. Well, I guess we can't really talk about this, but- He's gonna, I'm gonna speak at a meeting that's- Yeah, he, he, I was, yesterday I took 16 years and um, I, I went back after I shared and, and I, uh, um, he texted me, yo, I'm talking to the secretary, can you speak on Saturday? So I'm gonna speak on Saturday. Um, just in time. Uh, uh, so this is Madison, how much time do you have? And what have you learned since you've been here? Um, I have 78 days. What I've learned about being here is, while well, being here is that I can't trust my own thinking. Um, I have people here who can help me think and love me back to life so that I can start loving myself. And, um, okay, I've been to about 10 places. Um, I've been to three long-term inpatient rehabs. I've been to about four sober livings. I've been to a Nexos in Tijuana, Mexico. Um, and this is the only place that's worked for me. This is the only place that's made a difference, saved my life. Um, and I'm just really grateful to be here. We're really grateful to have you. Madison's been showing up and going over and above. And this is Reese. And I mean, this kid has been through so much so how much time do you have sober and what have you learned since you've been here and like you know just what's different here than what you've seen 54 days today um maybe almost 54 treatments 54 sober livings 54 detoxes all together and when i say this is the last house on the block because i still have health insurance like i know cats out there dying on a weekly basis on a weekly basis from going through that cycle of treatment. And like, do I even wanna have life that easy? Just like running in and out, running in and out, learning nothing, or I can buckle up and get some structure in my life, even though it's like not what I'm used to because of the fucked up treatment cycle. And it's different here, it's different. So yeah, Reese got caught up in the, I mean, can we say it? I don't know. Yeah. He's just been to a, a few different places and we're really grateful to have you and um, congrats. Yeah, no, and, um, for real. Yeah, more, more will be revealed. This is just one of many. Yeah, glad to be here. You know? I just feel like we're also pretty lucky that like we got a really good first group, a first round of people to like, it, like these are the people that will be the, like the, the core of this structure and they'll be here forever you know coming back to family meetings coming back to house meetings and helping some of the newer people as graduates and alumni through this program like we're building a community for life here you know the people that graduate don't just leave they stick around you know it's almost like god handpicked all these people to be the first group of people that came into the house 100%. And, and it's almost like you, we couldn't plan it it just kind of fell in our lap and so I so I just want to say like thank you to like everyone who's been sort of like supporting us and like you know giving us positive feedback and it's really important and inspires me and um, anyone who doesn't believe in what we're doing and I hope that time will show you that like our hearts are in the right place and I love you too.